Okay, let's say I have the um, weights of all the wrestlers on the wrestling team at NWSS. And uh, I write those down in a spreadsheet. And I want to be able to calculate the mean uh, weight of my wrestlers and the standard deviation. So how can Microsoft Excel help me do that? Well, I have all my weights listed right here. I want to place the mean here. I just click on the cell. I can click on the insert button and we'll go to function. And under select a category, uh, if I select statistical, this is where all my statistical functions are going to be. And you'll notice that right away, right up the top, it has average. And average here in Microsoft Excel means the arithmetic mean. So we're going to select that. This is exactly what we want. We hit OK. And it says, well, the mean of what? Well, I want to take the mean of these values here. So I am going to click on this cell right here, my first data value, and I'm going to hold it down. I'm going to drag down to my very last data value. And you'll see that this says now C4 colon D23. And that's referring to uh, the cell C4 down to the cell uh, D23. And the reason the letters have changed is because I have uh, grouped, I've merged these, these cells. Uh, and I hit OK, and voila, there it is, 65.75. There's my mean. Same thing with standard deviations, just as easy. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to hit Insert and go to Function. This time, standard deviation probably starts with an S. Let's have a look. Let's scroll down to S, and lo and behold, here we go. We have a whole bunch that look like they could be standard deviation, and here's where we have to be a little bit careful. Here I have an entire population. This is my entire wrestling team. So I want to make sure I use the correct function. Because if it were dealing with a random sample, I would use this one, STDEV. This estimates the standard deviation based on a sample. For an entire population, what I want is STDEVP, which calculates the standard deviation based on an entire population. In the textbook and Foundations in Math 11, uh, all of the sets that they give you are entire populations or they're assumed to be entire populations. So this is the function that you will be using exclusively. Now here if we hit OK, standard deviation of, of what? Well, again, one more time, I select my first data value and I drag it down to my last one right there. And I hit OK. So there it is, standard deviation 15.5. Uh, 1554457. And that is how you use Microsoft Excel to calculate the mean and standard deviation of a set of data.